Seconds out. Seconds round out, one. round one. And it's scheduled for it. Garcia, hot property. Center of the ring there, Lewis. Identification. And the usual splash of color now for from the back. He's a Cuban, from the front, he's an Irishman. Well, you can interpret that any way you like. But I mean, he carries all the colors. He comes with a high reputation. Beautiful jabber, good puncher, fast on his feet. Oh. And if you don't believe me, take a sample of that for your YouTube. He just devastates opponents. He's a quick, quick hands, good hooker. He's had eight pro fights and he's won the lot. Six of them inside the distance. And the chances of this going eight rounds this evening are pretty small, I should think. Emil Teat is the referee in charge. And Christian Cruz can't find an escape route and there's no trap door in the ring. I'll well, tell you what, because of the fact that he's not replying here, so he's not doing punches back, he's in danger of being stopped because if you don't start to throw punches, what the referee does, he steps in and says, right, OK, that's it, war over. You know, so you have to throw punches back, you know, and you have to let the, let the referee know yep. that you're fine. You can't have passive resistance or it'll be deemed as an opposition to defend yourself, or indeed passive resistance. But he looks like a fellow who's been invited to the wrong party. He looks like in this first round, he looks like he's on his way out here because he was, he was hurt there a, a few seconds ago. He was going down, but then he seemed to gather, gather pace and uh, get himself together. But he's, he was in a bit of trouble. He comes from California and he could be home in time for tea the way this is going. Look at those body shots from uh, Garcia. Really vicious hooker to the body. And to the head, for that matter. Can you see Cruz surviving? Well, even this round, there's 45 seconds to go on it. He's throwing very little back, and Emil Teeth is going to have to look at him and say, listen, you want to be moving up the, your work rate here. He came into the fight with a reputation as a mover rather than a puncher. Well, he's doing neither. And it's a, he's a sitting duck for Garcia here. If Garcia wins this one, and who'd bet against it now? A quarter of a minute to go in the first round. If he wins here, he'll be in action again in Letter Kenny Leisure Complex in Cunny Donegal on the 2nd of October. And that's another Knights of Boxing, of Pro Box, you'll be able to see with us on RT television. And Garcia is a very, very hot property. He's just won eight in a row. Plus another round there. The music between the rounds was the rock and roll classic Johnny Be Good. Well, Christian better be good soon or he's going to be out, out of here. Luis Garcia. Cruz just about survived that opening round, Jimmy. And uh, if he doesn't, if he doesn't uh, up his uh, up the pace here, you know, up the ante, he's in big, big, big trouble of being stopped. Uh, you know, in the early rounds, but he's been far too negative because. As I have said in the previous round, the referees only let that go on for so long. When you're, when you're being so negative, they've got no other option bar to step in and stop the fight. So Cruz is going to have to start throwing punches back. But David, even if he wanted to be positive, how does he go about it here? Your man's crawling all over him. I know, but like, like, he's a fighter, Jimmy. He should know, he should have an idea of what to do, you know, but he's just, he, he, he's on, a, on the back foot all the time and he's, he, he's doing absolutely nothing bar receiving punches. You know, so for in my opinion, like, uh, if it keeps going on, going on, I guess here the referee will have no, uh, no uh, doubt of it, st you know, stepping in and uh, calling a halt. Because he's a bit of a talent, Garcia, yeah. though, isn't he? Yes, but he, he, he's also a spoiler, Garcia. Too, when he's in, or Cruz, when Cruz is inside there, you know, he's holding on for grim death. You know, so he's just he's being negative in, in every possible way. But what Garcia has to do, Garcia's just going to have to break him down here and and, and, uh, and pile the pressure on because uh, you know this guy can make. He, 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 in my opinion, he's a bit of a spoiler here. You know, he, he hasn't come to fight. He's making faces. He, you know, he he doesn't know. I don't know what happened there. He wasn't punched in the face, but uh, you know, if, if I, I just believe that if Garcia, uh, 
puts the foot on the gas here, yeah. applies a lot of pressure. He can get this guy out of here. I can see it happening. Jab, jab, right cross. If he just got the chance, he'll have to open it up with his left. And he's well capable of it. That was a solid hook lead from Garcia. Cruz, you could say, and you would not be inaccurate, is providing a token resistance there. In goes that right cross from Garcia. Head hunting here. Right to the body was a good shot too, and it must have hurt. Absolutely in total control, Garcia. He, he's good, and he knows he's good. And if you watch on, on that long shot, if you get a chance again, just watch the position of his feet. He's always perfectly poised, and and perfectly poised too to change the angles. Every face tells a story. <laughs> round two, ending the way round one began. It's been a continuous story of one man's superiority over another. And this is the other. Hey, Luis Garcia's corner are Nicholas Cruz, Colin Morgan, and Benny King. No, not that Benny King, but Benny King. And the jab, nice jab. Perfection, really, from Luis Garcia. And all he has to put a couple of those together and then a nice accurate right cross and that will be fare thee well, my lovely Dinah. Two, two, two. Two. Emil T, the referee, having a very close look two. at this, mostly at the face and the general body language of uh, Cruz. You see, that's what happens when they go to the body, but they don't do it. The, uh, Garcia fell into the, 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 the category of not throwing enough body shots, and when he does, he has great success. Look at that. How are you doing? You know, the first okay? good, real good body shot that he had thrown, Jimmy, he, 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 uh, he did damage with. He's trying downstairs again, and Cruz has to hang on. I don't think he's going to last much longer. Two more good punches. Might do the job. Another good solid body shot, Jim, under that, under that short rib there. This war will be all over. Toe shot, oh, this is it. Oh, there's a big right hand. That's a big, big right hand. And believe me, he's not Four. praying. Five. That put him down. Six. And maybe Seven. he is praying. Eight. That the referee's making a mistake in the count. I think Emil is saying, no, 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 I've had enough. And he has a fighter's instinct, Emil Teeth, coming from a famous, famous family, his father, Fred Teeth. And you know what fighters go through in their lifetime. But there's no argument at all. That is a very compassionate decision from Emil Teeth. And really and truly, the easiest of easy wins for Luis Garcia. He just kept punishing him and punishing him without much in way of a sensible reply. And another good victory, which brings his record to nine fights, nine wins, seven inside. Luis Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee having uh, stopped the contest after one minute, 59 seconds of round three. In the interest of uh, Christian Cruz's own safety, leaving the winner and undefeated in nine contests.